Hey everyone, how's it going? So in today's video, uh, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. Um, a lot of requests have come in for things like how to organize your schoolwork uh, electronically and organizing your files on computers and on iPads and your phone and things like that. So I just wanted to kind of address that and show you kind of my system that I use to organize all my notes and um, my uh, study things and things like that. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, mainly it's going to be on my computer, so what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, kind of show you like a screencast. I'm going to kind of overlay that on the video. So I'm going to uh, voice over that and just show you uh, some of the things on my computer and show you my file system, how I organize everything and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and switch to that now. Alright everyone, so this is my setup for my school documents. So as you can see alongside here, um, on my uh, on this panel on the side here, I have a documents and then I have school documents. So in the documents I just keep all my regular stuff and obviously as you can tell in my school documents I keep everything school related. So I have uh, documents going back all the way to ninth grade on here, which is kind of crazy, um, but I do like to save everything. So, um, like, as you can see, I have things uh, from the ninth grade on, so I have ninth, tenth, eleventh, my senior year, um, I have another category, and I also have university. So, the one that I'm going to be showing you today is my university folder. So, what I do to organize this is uh, create one folder, and then create subfolders uh, with the class headings. So uh, as you can see here, I have uh, biology, calculus, chemistry, physics, psychology, world issues, and I also have a scheduling because um, that kind of pertains to my university as well. So I'll just go into the scheduling one first just to show you quickly what that is. Uh, so here I just keep all the documents um, concerning my schedule, my first uh, semester and second semester schedule, uh, the prep, um, the course schedule, like the actual timetable, and things like that. So I'll just uh, quickly open this up. So as you can see there, there is my schedule for the first year. So that's pretty much it, it for the schedule. So as for uh, the an actual class, what I do is split that uh, folder into further subfolders uh, of the different classes that are offered in that subject category. So for example, uh, in chemistry, uh, I had chemistry first semester and second semester, so uh, this 111 was first and 112 was second, so that's what I'm in now. So that's what I do to kind of keep uh, the classes separate so the, the files don't get mixed up. So uh, as you can see, in under the main chemistry category, like I said, I have the two different subjects that I was in. So under chemistry 112 then I split that up further into uh, different categories depending on the class and I'll go through a couple just to give you some examples so then I have notes and exams and tests so as for the exams and tests I have uh, them split up further into test 1, test 2, and final exam I also have a, a PDF with some formulas on there as well um, but what I like to do is keep them separate so that I don't mix them up and study for the wrong test. I know that's probably not possible, but believe me, it could probably happen. So what I like to do is keep them separate. And I labeled them uh, with the month, so test one was in February. I just wrote that a few days ago, and test two will be next month. And then the final exam will be in April. So that's what I do. Um, I just keep sample uh, exams in there that the professor has provided. Uh, so that's basically it for that one. Uh, as for the notes, uh, this kind of differs uh, depending on the class. Um, but for chemistry, what I like to do is organize it by chapter. So then in the notes uh, section, I have chapter 18, 15, 13, and 11. So I'll just open one of those up. Uh, that one doesn't have that many, so I'll just go to uh, maybe this one there we go so uh, they're all the files are named by date so I can figure out uh, what uh, kind of notes that I took on a certain day uh, in case I missed something these are the the teachers provided notes I have my actual written notes in my binder so for example um, these are just the teachers notes that she provides uh, for us and then you download them online uh, so basically 
I just keep them all um, saved here just for reference later on. So I do that for all the chapters uh, for the notes. So that's what it's like for my chemistry. Um, for physics I'll show you. So like I said, again I have the major category, then I split it up into the different classes. Uh, and then this is further divided into notes, uh, generally. Uh, for this class, quizzes, text solutions, and tutorial solutions. So notes, I just have my uh, general uh, notes for the chapters. Uh, those are in there. And in the quizzes, um, that is basically the uh, solutions for the quizzes that we have every week in our tutorial sections. Uh, so I keep those there to refer back to and check my answers. Um, I also have text solutions, so we're assigned uh, problems out of the textbook to do, and these are the solutions that the book publisher uh, uh, offers, so I also have PDF files of those. Um, and the tutorial solutions are the solutions to the problems that are in the book uh, in addition to the text solutions. So I keep those in there as well. Uh, just as another example uh, for my psychology class, I only had one psychology class this year, so it was just uh, 101. So here I just keep all my notes for that uh, class. So uh, if you've seen uh, my note-taking video, I mentioned that I type I typed up uh, notes every chapter for my psychology class. So that is what these are right here. Uh, and then I just export them to PDF files and study them off of my iPad. So that's basically all that um, I have to show you for that. Um, that's, yeah, so I don't think for calculus it's pretty much uh, the same uh, tests and quizzes. Um, and then uh, my world issues class, there's just uh, only one file in there for a paper that I wrote. So that is basically how I organize all my files for university. So I'll just to quickly run through it again. Um, I have just one category for university, then I split it up into uh, the different classes that I have, and then that gets further, uh, I guess, uh, I guess, um, maybe subject would be a better word there, not class, so I break it up into subject, and then from there break it into the class, and then split it up into notes, and then go by chapter, um, and also tests and things like that, as you saw. So that's what I do for that. Um, so now I'm just going to uh, wrap this part up and go back to the other uh, view and just talk a little bit about uh, flash drives and backing up uh, all your stuff electronically. So a couple other important things to kind of have to organize your uh, schoolwork electronically is some storage devices. So first off uh, would be just a simple uh, USB flash drive. So what I mainly use this for is transferring uh, work from one computer to another, um, also putting presentations on, taking them to class, uh, and putting them on the uh, projector, things like that. So pretty much transferring files, um, also storing just things as a backup. But um, what I suggest for, I suggest really just for transferring and kind of intermediate storage um, for a USB flash drive, uh, for more long-term storage and kind of backup of your work, I suggest a um, external hard drive, and that's what I have here. I got this a few years back, uh, and it's still going strong. Uh, so what I do is every uh, couple weeks, I will back up all my schoolwork. So um, obviously, I'm going to have more notes every week to put on there. I'm going to have more study guides and things like that. So I really want to keep this updated because if uh, my computer ever crashed or I lost some uh, some data, I can easily just go to this and um, put it back on my computer and I know that I haven't lost it. Um, major assignments and papers and presentations, uh, those are things that you don't want to lose and you also, uh, uh, it's a good thing to kind of keep them so you can go back and take a look at some of the things you did previously. Um, and maybe um, draw some information from that uh, to do something now. Uh, so it's a really good idea to back up your, um, your, your school files and in general all your files. I back up my music on here and things like that, uh, movies and everything. So uh, these can be expensive but you can find some uh, cheap ones out there as well uh, depending on the kind that you go with. Uh, this is a Segate um, 
data agency, I believe. If I find the exact name, I'll put it in the description for those wondering. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know uh, about backing up your data because that is also uh, really important when uh, keeping your files and everything uh, for school kind of secure and uh, ready to go. So that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to show you kind of how I organize all my files and my, my notes and everything like that for school. Uh, it's been requested a few times, so I thought that I'd show you guys that. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those in the comments below. Um, if you have any suggestions, also leave those in the comments. Uh, you can check out uh, my Twitter, uh, follow me on there, at OrganizedBlake, and you can now follow me on Pinterest at BlakeG28, um, and you can also check out my website at OrganizedWithBlake.com, and I'll have links for all those in the description below. So once again, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.